Hey, good morning and happy Thursday. Uh, the next phase of home improvement is about to get underway here in Phoenix. I have a back patio here or driveway that's about to get covered with an awning so I can park some additional cars back here. I've been storing a couple vehicles for friends and it's starting to get to that time of the year in Phoenix where it's very hot. I hate to see them baking out here in, in the uh, Arizona sun. So this is gonna completely transform today. I cannot believe it, but two and a half hours later, these guys are already finished. Uh, I had Bill here from Mesa Awning and actually surprised me. I wasn't expecting these guys till next week, but uh, they were able to get me on the schedule in advance. So here we go. I'm looking at a two car uh, parking space here in the back where it used to be just kind of open and uh, it is south facing. So I get a lot of sunshine, especially um, in our brilliantly hot Phoenix summers. So this gives me a chance to stash a couple cars. Obviously, I'm always storing things for friends in addition to passing through um, some project cars of my own. Uh, this is a nice way to have a place to park them where they're shielded from the elements a bit. Here's another look at how it is from the uh, exterior view. So this covers basically the full width of the concrete pad and should shield them from some of the elements. This is connected on the north side directly to the house itself, which is kind of cool. It allowed for them to uh, configure this in a way that uh, it's not gonna let any light or liquid through um, during our stormy season. And so it really is just a seamless pass through to the, uh, to the garage itself. This is looking from inside the garage. So now the nice thing is I can have people over and utilize that backyard space for car wash uh, activities or working on cars or whatever it is that we need to do outside, um, but still have some shade. So pretty happy with how that came out actually. I don't know why I waited two and a half years to do it. Here's one last look of how things are shaping up after getting two vehicles parked. So luckily there's a plenty of roof clearance for the SLX, which is the tallest vehicle that I have. Looks like we're good to go there. Obviously I'm preparing myself for the inevitable oil dripping that this one tends to have. But overall, once again, very pleased with how this is looking and happy to keep these vehicles out of the sun. Anyway, thanks for tuning in for this update. I am never finished with this house, just like I'm never finished with my cars. So it's only a matter of time until the next uh, project comes down the pipeline. But I think it's time to just let the budget recover for a little bit and enjoy some of my newfound shade here. Take it easy. Thanks for watching.